Net One. Now it's time to dine in the D. Have you ever heard of the James Beard Award? Ah. Yes. So it's essentially the Oscars for chefs, and one nominee is right in our From own the D? backyard. That's what? right. That's right. Delicious. Sounds good. I want to taste some <laughs> cooking. And our Michelle Oliver went to dine in the D at the chef's restaurant in Birmingham to see just what caught the judges' eyes. I gotta go by there. I know. I gotta go by there. The Forest Grill has always been one of Sammy Eads' favorite spots. So when it went up for sale in 2015, he was eager to buy it. You know, for the first time in a long time, Detroit's taken a lot of the dining spotlight. The excitement's downtown, it's, which is great. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm a little jealous, to be honest. And that motivated me, I think, to do this. He gave the interior an upgrade, adding an eye-catching wine cellar right when you walk in. The space itself has got great bones. It's like a little, you know, New York restaurant in a neighborhood or in Paris. The, the showpiece is really the kitchen, though. I mean, it's like a fishbowl. You get to watch everything that's going on. You don't really hear it. You don't smell it, but you still see everything. And that was one of the biggest ideas. And the mastermind running the kitchen is the very talented Nick Janital. He came up with all new dishes for the restaurant. They are mostly Mediterranean in style with an emphasis on seafood. He also adds hints from his classical French background and his love of Japanese cuisine. I don't like more than four ingredients in a dish. I don't want too many flavors competing. I don't like swooshes. I don't like microgreens. And I try to live within these parameters, which is a lot harder than it sounds. So, to see his cooking style in action, I asked if we could make one of his signature dishes. He calls it the farm egg, which, following his rules, has four major flavors. I was the egg, the mushrooms themselves, the sabayon, and then the parsley at the end. What do we do first? So the first is uh, we cut the fuita brick. We roll it up. This is like five sheets. This thin thing is... Yeah, this is five sheets here. Oh, I was right. I You're was just good. guessing. You know, like the, Rain Man, where I can just see. <laughs> so we cut it pretty thin. Essentially, it's going to look like a nest by the time we're done frying it. You got to cut pretty hard. Oh, it is. You would think something paper thin would cut very easily. So while you're doing that, we're going to measure out the sabayon itself. To make the sabayon, he mixes eggs, a fortified wine called Madeira, chicken stock, and one pound of liquid butter. We're just trying to get it hot. He finishes it with a sprinkle of salt and some fresh lemon juice. Then we take it and we put it in the ISI canister, similar to when you go to Starbucks and get your uh, whipped cream on top. So these are the eggs we cooked off earlier today. They were cooked for five and a half minutes, so the whites are solid, but the yolk inside is still runny. We take it and we're going to roll it in the dough. Do I get to roll one? You can roll one. You can roll four if you want. You can roll four? I'll roll one. So you want to be very careful of the eggs. It will pop because the yolk Yeah, is I soft. could kind of feel that. It wasn't like a normal hard-boiled egg. Oh, see, and I broke it. OK, we cooked extra today. Because you knew I was coming. Is see? it OK if it has the yolk on it? Yeah, we'll be all right for, for yours. This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. I can have the yolk on it. I don't mind. I let Nick finish rolling the eggs. Then we put them in the fryer. Gently, I might add. We also grilled up some Hen of the Woods mushrooms. Now we're ready to plate. You just grab it. And the joining shoes. us live in studio is the James Beard Award nominated chef, Nick Janital. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Thanks for having me. This is a huge, huge recognition for you. So, congratulations. Thanks. It's Were been, you surprised? Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't Big expect time. you coming. Um, I was shocked. My wife's our general manager, so she wow. ran upstairs and congratulated me, and it was a great family experience. So. A big old smooch. I bet this is That's amazing. Right. So you're like nominated for the whole world as one of uh, the best chefs? Or? It's the Great Lakes. The Great, okay. the great Lakes. Okay. So. Okay. That works. Okay. All, All right, right, so what are we making today? You. Thank so we're you. we're making salmon. So the first move, grab your salmon. Okay. Okay, is we're going to put it into the, the cast iron. All Make right. sure you drop it away from yourself, okay? We away don't wanna, from yourself. I don't want yeah. you guys burning yourselves, splashing yourself with oil. We don't need you for that. All right. And then... Now that's going to start cooking. We're going like to get a little color salad. on that. All right. In the meantime, we're going to add celery root to our pan in the center. They're hot, so it's going to boil quickly. Okay. You look out right here. Oh, oh, get it. Let's do it. Go for it. Don't be shy. Okay. Okay, got it. Now we're going to add raisins. So about... Raisins? Yeah, so... And these are golden raisins, These are golden right? raisins, okay. right? There we go. Put them all in there? Yep. Boom. 
We're gonna let that simmer down. Okay. Simmer down now. Anyway. Simmer down, down the summer. Yeah. Backwards. <laughs> right, a little salt. Down now. Add a little salt okay. to the side of root. Little, little. And so what we're doing in the salmon right nothing. now is searing it, right? We're searing it, correct. So we're going to uh, cook it to medium. Cook me lightly. I like right. it medium. I so don't it's like not, my salmon over. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be warm on the inside, all right? Good. Um, the first thing that we do um, to salmon is we brine it. Mm -hmm. um, brine it? Brine it. Like you do brine a chicken, okay. we put it in a... I fry my chicken, bro. I want, <laughs> <laughs> want some brine chicken. Do you soak the chicken in milk? No. No. Oh, really? You don't do that? No. no. That's, that's the move. That's, that's the, the move. move. There now you, you gotta go. You got to try it next time. Uh, Take away everyone. Soak your chicken in milk. Thank what you. does it do? Ta tell us what brining so, any kind of meat does. So essentially it uh, helps coagulate the proteins and adds salt to the interior of the fish. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Delicious. So you know how when you cook salmon, you get salmon and all that white stuff on the outside that right. comes mm -hmm. out? This essentially helps uh, coagulate the protein so that it doesn't ooze out. Nice. That nice. sounds that smart. I like that. Yeah, smart. Guy, that's why he's James Beard Awarded, that's nominated. That's why, everybody. You win. All right, so we're searing this. We've got so the celery root this. and the golden raisins boiling yep. together. Now, what's the next step? So the next step is we're going to flip the fish. All right. Are you, are you, want me to show you? No. All right. I'm make it. All right, get in there. Oh, man, you are rough with that. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Oh, my <laughs> Oh. oh, look out. That Wait a minute. That one's definitely yours. I got it. Wait a minute. <laughs> he said that one is definitely hold on, yours. Hold on. I'm chasing it. <laughs> We're all scared. Bam. Bam. All right, so I think I'm going to yeah, let you, you, Chef Nick, thank you. do mine. Right. Okay, yeah, don't yeah. Press. You don't need to press Did it. Did I get it? Yeah, yeah cool. I'm going to let you okay. handle this. So we, we kind of lightly. I didn't want to touch it. You, okay, look yeah, at you that. put your hands on it. Look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid using my other hand. <laughs> Here, we'll do it without the other hand. You're cheating, Chef. It's a, here you go. No I'm hands. No hands. No hands. No hands. Even if yeah. you use the hand, you get a little germs on there. It'll get killed by the heat. All That's right. what I like That's to tell you. myself. Thank you. So now you're going to add right. your butter to the pan. A little butter. Okay. And the garlic. All together at the same time? All together. Okay. okay. Just, just splatter on in there. That is a lot of butter. Turn the butter heat makes off. everything taste good. That's yeah. for sure. And we're going to let it finish Even cooking. your diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Even your diabetes. Let's do that one last one there. All right, now we turn the heat off, and we're going to let it finish cooking in the foamy butter. Love it, love it. <laughs> Very simple. So, Chef Nick, how does one get nominated for a James Beard Award? I mean, let's talk about that, because it is hugely prestigious, but it's not like you send in an application, right? No, uh, people nominate you, and then mm -hmm. it goes to a panel, and then the panel decides kind of who goes to the next round, which mm -hmm. is a semifinalist. And then there's another Do they another visit your vote. restaurant as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Visit, okay. And then uh, there's James Beard. Uh, voters, I guess, yes. right. throughout the country. I think there's 600 of them, okay. mm -hmm. all stationed. Okay, and, that's right. Uh, then from there, they decide and pick. Okay. Well, what that's I love awesome. about it is that though you have to be on your A game all the time because more than one person visits you, right? Yeah. Visits the restaurant to check him out, oh, okay. and then it's like a group of people who are like, they he's come doing in, right. And you, they know you're going to be the cooking. Okay, that's right. awesome, yeah. man. Right. Congratulations. That's so we've got about a minute oil. left. Like the olive oil. Okay. So add the olive oil to each pan. It's about okay, uh, solid squeeze. A little more than that, come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm trying to. Yeah. Right there, there right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Reach. You got it. All right, now we're gonna, you can add some almonds. Split so those up between the three. Sounds mm -hmm. delicious. I'll add the miso. So this is a, uh, we take the celery root scraps Two. from the dice and make a puree with ginger. Love it. Lemongrass. Bam. He said bam. Bam, like no, emerald. Yeah, right. trying. That's how I started okay. cooking. I was really? really? Emerald. Watching emerald? Wow. I think I was a man. Influence. Absolutely. That's good. And then a little bit more. One more for you. And then I cook this down. Okay. You are so good at explaining. I just have to give you your props for that. This is good. So then, what's the next step? So now we got to do a little stir here. Oh. oh and stir. It's gonna all come together here, and that's Gosh, how we're gonna. Like that. Am I doing good? I got it. So, and these are our. You like to stick with four ingredients, right? Four ingredients. Gotcha. Because I don't want. I want you to know what you're eating. I don't want you to be confused. Got you. I, we don't need that. No microgreens up in here either. No I love micro that. No microgreens. <laughs> I use actual greens. Yes. The, the real thing. <laughs> so we're going to play on the side here. Awesome. So we use, to garnish this dish, we use the celery uh, leaves. Mm -hmm. So it's the heart of the celery. It looks good. Them. Instead yeah. of microgreens, mm -hmm. it kind of helps that gives utilize them. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. It? Okay. Taste one. Big flavor. A little peppery. Okay. I've tasted them. Thank you. Oh, and I, yeah. my hands are not clean. <laughs> <laughs> Germaphobe. Mm. Mm. It tastes good mm. all together. On the food, Trust yeah. Me. So then we do the chives. By itself, and mm, not so good. <laughs> <laughs> not very Need tasty. I live, on, I live on it. Nice. You live on it? I live on it. Okay. So then we finish it. This smells so good. I, it's just crazy. Bye. 
putting the fish down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gosh, it smells good. Less is more, right, Chef? Less is more. Wow. Yeah, that looks good. I had salmon last night. Nice. At the improv, it was delicious. That looks good, man. Good. And the flavors balance very nicely with the raisins, the almonds, mm. the miso. It's very healthy. It's very healthy. If you take the fish out, it's vegan. Yeah. Okay. But why would we do that? So why would you do that? So remind us where Forest Delicious. is. So Forest is up Birmingham mm -hmm. on the uh, east side of Woodward, kind of in Look a nook by itself. What's the address? You know, the 735 Forest Avenue. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank and you so much for being here with us. And again, congratulations me. to it was you. A pleasure. Congrats. Awesome. Thanks. So